Welcome back to Sacred Saints. Today, we will be covering the lesser known story of Saint Aaron. This apocryphal and doubtful story of Aaron shows us his life as a potter. Also, this story is only accepted in the Catholic Church. Join us as we delve into another of Saint Aaron's life stories. Saint Aaron, a skilled potter, lived in the third century and was highly admired for his craftsmanship and devotion to God, despite the scarcity of information about his life. Various legends praise St. Aaron's dedication to his craft and religious beliefs. One legend recounts an encounter where the Virgin Mary appeared to St. Aaron while he worked at his potter's wheel. Moved by Mary's message, he embraced his calling to spread the gospel and inspire others with his faith. Whilst traveling, Aaron preached about God's love and faithful lifestyle. This story of St. Aaron serves as a powerful reminder that our daily work can be a means to express our faith and share love with those around us. St. Aaron's legacy is celebrated in the Catholic Church with his feast day, according to this legend, being marked on November 17th. Now, let's compare the two stories about St. Aaron. First of all, in the more known story, we know where Aaron performed his spiritual work, on Sezember Island in Oleth, Brittany. Whereas in the second story, we aren't told of where all his preachment took place, except that it took place on a lark. This is why, in this video, we have called him simply as Saint Aaron. Another major difference is that in the first story, we aren't told why he decided to preach the gospel to those around him. People from St. Aaron in Lambale believe that he was brought up as a spiritual person. In the second story, we know that he has had a vision from Mother Mary. His globally accepted feast day is the 22nd of June, which is from the more known story, and not the 17th of November. This may be the case because of this information that wasn't told in the previous video. He died after 550 to CE. This shows us that the 22nd of June may be his date of death. Arguably, the biggest difference between the two stories is his patron saint status. The first story states that he is the patron saint of the passionate and steadfast, whereas the second story states that he is the patron saint of potters. However, both the Catholic and Eastern Orthodox Church claim that the patron saint of potters is Saint Spiridion. As we reflect on the life of St. Aaron, let us be inspired by his unwavering commitment to both his craft and his faith. Thank you for watching, and make sure to share the message of St. Aaron's inspiring journey.